Wait, where's your hot steam and water? Hot steam and water? Yeah. I you better fucking not, sure you I'll shoot you right in your face. Drop the fucking pot! The Drop the pot! Drop the shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Drop the pot! <laughs>
But what looks as though the officer was already agitated, was already, something was already going on with him. Maybe it was something that happened prior. Maybe he had a bad stop with a, with a driver or something like that. And he just took all his aggression to this young lady's house and just took all his frustrations out on her. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. But the thing here is when an officer involves shooting, especially with minorities of a different race, it always comes down to, I was in fear of my life. Even though that person that the, the person that they shot didn't have a gun, didn't perceive as a threat or anything of that matter. It was just the fact that this was a trigger happy, unhinged, agitated sheriff's deputy that had a bad history of work ethics between six departments now comes down to this. And it's just unfortunate that the information about this young man, this cop, this officer, this sheriff's deputy comes out now. He comes out now as as unhinged officer. Obviously, he wasn't good at the first outfits that he was at. Now you bring him bring him in the seventh outfit without checking his background. Some people's background get checked for less. Here, this man been in six outfits, and every last one of those outfits have been issues that he's no longer with the company. Yet, y'all still thought that everything was good to go for this department. But I know I mentioned my mother in the beginning of this podcast. And like I said, she's 72 years old, still feisty, still sane, still knows her surroundings. But I'm afraid, though. I'm afraid that situations like this shouldn't even happen. Again, like I said, I don't understand why the information they just couldn't gather from this young lady, they could have gathered outside. They, they didn't have no reason to go inside the house, regardless of how she was acting. But I'm going to leave it up to you guys in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. What's your opinions on this situation? Could the situation been handled better? I think. Shouldn't it be deadly? I don't think not. If if the officer was really fearing for his life of an old lady, the taser would have just easily put her down. Easy. If it wasn't for us nasty old truck drivers out here on the road, you wouldn't have none of y'all shit. This video was brought to you by a truck and a truck driver.